Oh my goodness. Former President Donald Trump has just been found guilty on all 34 federal charges. Now this is huge. This is the first time in American history that a former president has been convicted of a federal crime. And that is huge. But what I want us to focus on is what is our reaction going to be? How should we respond to such a momentous occasion? Specifically, how should those of us who are Christians, specifically theologically conservative and conservative and conservative leaning politically, how should we as Christians respond to the fact that the presidential candidate that many of us have supported has now been convicted of not one, but 34 federal charges in a trial about paying hush money to a porn star to subvert the truth from getting out prior to a U.S. presidential election. There are going to be a lot of different responses. And I want you and I to be prayerful about how we respond. Romans chapter 12, verse 18 tells us, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Some of us will be tempted to cling to our political ideology, which sounds an awful lot like idolatry, and pick fights with people we may disagree with. The world is watching, and they will see through our response to this, if we love Christ, if we seek the good of those around us, or if we worship at the golden idol of Trump and conservative politics. Let's make sure that it is clear beyond any doubt that it is Jesus and his kingdom that we serve.